Hey, yo guys. We're back. The final one, part four of Poison Home. Obviously, it's just going to be known as Foxy Drives. Yeah, this final one is going to be a bit of a challenge because I hate this place. Not only because you can't ever find, I can't ever find the rhythm. Also, because it is fucking long. But God knows how many miles, I think it's like 14, 15 miles or something like that long. So it is a pain in the ass. But, but over to Nürburgring or uh, Nordschleifer. Or if you want to do it this way, over to Nürburgring. Aye. That place that used to be a massive F1 haven. Back in the Civic, why not? Since we've done this entire thing in the Civic, so let's go. Let's do this in the Civic and see how this one goes. Oh, I just chugged down some coffee. Probably gonna have the same ones as usual. Got some, yeah. This time I am actually gonna read the banner and see if I can spot what that uh, other Civic is. If it hangs long enough to tell me, it doesn't tell me. Just to see if it hangs long enough to tell me what that was. Yeah, that was right. EK. It is an EK. I'm in an FK. So there's three FKs in this one. And that one EK there. There's quite a few in here that are actually race modified by the looks of this. Alright, so four Civics in total. Three of those being FKs. That AMG that's always there. That McGann that seems to keep gaining me way sometimes. Two Focuses, two Golfs, Peugeot, two DSs, a Mini, a Mito, and a Swift. Anyway, we will get underway. Right, let's get underway. I'm still. Still as baffled as what's going on with these brakes. Maybe it was just because I was carrying too much speed and I was trying to be a bit too brave. Plus that corner there was also a little bit of a mince. So we will see. I don't know how this is going to go. Luckily this is only one lap, so my sanity, whatever's left of it, should be intact by the end of this. Well, then again, the amount of times I'm going to be on the brakes because of the way that the circuit is so slim line. And when you get that right on a braking zone, where they just sit inside each other. And just let it all hang out there as well. This is what I mean by you can't get into a rhythm with it. Dude in the Swift is on a mission. As long as it doesn't sit on the line, I'll take them both. I remember that bit of the braking zone. I did use the brakes a little bit too much because I did scrub too much speed off there shouldn't be too bad because there is a lot of other big zones coming up. And no, I didn't put any more power in the car. Yeah, just keep your foot in it while you're on the grass, why not? Citroen. Now that bit in the earlier games, 
always used to catch me up because I used to just go flying over the top of it. And then can I get a quick, a quick little overtaking spot there without it getting too problematic? And then nip up the inside of him. Yes, I can. Drop it down twice. A little bit of body contact there, but not too bad. I hesitated because I had a feeling that the door was going to close but I'm just going to have to just shove the car up the inside there and just force my way through otherwise I'm not going to be able to make it up in time anyway that guy having troubles and then off we go No, I can't. Can't do both, but I can get one. Why do they feel so slow? Why do they feel so slow? through there I could have held it in third and just a little tap on the brakes and then another one of the sections I really despise sometimes because I'm either too high too low or it just spits you out Civics in front of me. So here's the three of us now, all in a line. This is another reason why you cannot really get much of a rhythm going. Because you're constantly in a train with some of the other cars to get around some of the corners so you really do struggle just give him a little tap just to tell him down here and then I'll swing out I'll squeeze it up the inside of it off we go Come on, come on, stop wheel spinning, get up the hill. And then, whoa. Now, off to the Merc we go.
this next bit is going to be the lead on to the fastest section, the biggest flat out section on the circuit. Well, whatever car you've got, you can let it stretch its legs as long as it can keep its acceleration pace up. My foot is absolutely planted here. I really have to be pinpoint accurate as well. So I don't get up. So I don't bury myself into a wall and get overtaken all at the same time. And there we go. And that is that one over with. So that's that series over with. Yay! Right, so. Take the earnings out of this one. And then as that was the daily workout. Because I did record some of these all back to back. Okay. Since that's not going to work. We will see what car I picked up. I see a camper van in there. Oh, I missed that camper van. But I've got an Alpine. Cooley, I got an Alpine. <laughs> anyway, right, so that is that done. So, like, comment, subscribe, share the shit out of everything. Anyway, guys, <laughs> if I could ever get rid of this, cough, this sneezing fit. Anyway, guys, that is me signing out. Fogstar 30 to 7, off for the day. Peace.